here are some of the analytics that you can accomplish using Canvas. So I'm going to head right into the gradebook. And from here, if the learning mastery was enabled, which it's not at my institution, then you would find exceeds mastery, meets mastery, and so on and so forth, and you could export that. Um, I don't have a lot of experience in that because uh, that has not been enabled for us, so I'm not really sure what the settings are that are available to me. However, there are a lot of really great things that I can find just in the gradebook itself. So if I click on one student and click on analytics, I can see what their activity is, what their pages are that they viewed, the level of their participation. I can toggle on and off the graph part of this. If there's any communication, which I use a different uh, way of communicating with my students called Remind. Um, but this is kind of neat because I can see what's missing over here. All right, and actually this isn't quite due, so I'm not sure why it's missing because it's really due this week. But in any event, I can see the things that have been on time, and I can also th see those things that were late. So I can just uh, cruise on down here, and I can see all of these things. So I, I uh, and I can see that there, he's actually got a good score for all of this. So at a quick glance, I can tell how this student is doing. So that's kind of neat. Now. If I come back over here and um, I administer quizzes through the gradebook, so if I click on to one of the quizzes, and I pull up one of the quizzes, then right from here I can show, and I actually just found this the other day, the quiz statistics. So. There are all sorts of great things that you can find out about a specific quiz. So this is the distribution of the grades. You can see some people actually got 100% on here. And here you can see um, how many answered this correctly. So the discrimination index would simply be how many didn't answer this and how challenging that question was. So I would take this as a more challenging question because only 50% 57% of the people got this correctly. Um, I actually look at this kind of statistic because I can see which questions, I would consider this to be a good question. I think you had to really read the chapter and understand it to know what the answer is. Um, so I consider that to be a good question. I actually consider this to be one I might take out next time because pretty much everybody got it right. And so you can go down and look at the individual questions. So that's one thing that I can do. And I clicked on the item analysis, and what that does is it actually downloads a file for me.